If you've been thinking about launching your first website and you've heard about Bluehost, you've probably seen the ads, read the reviews, and wondered, is it really worth it or just another overhyped hosting company? After building multiple sites with Bluehost myself, I can tell you that it's one of the easiest and most reliable ways to get your website online, especially if you're new to this. And if you want to see exactly how to do it step by step, I've linked my full How to Build a Website on Bluehost 2026 tutorial at the end of this video and in the description below. Let's start with the basics. Bluehost makes it incredibly simple to go from an idea to a live website in just a few minutes. You don't need to know any coding, and you don't have to connect a bunch of complicated services. Once you create your account, Bluehost walks you through everything, from picking your website name to choosing a theme and setting up WordPress automatically. It even gives you a free domain name for the first year, along with a free SSL security so your site is protected from day one. For beginners, that convenience is a game changer. Performance is another big reason Bluehost still stands out going into 2026. A lot of people assume that affordable hosting means slow websites, but that's not the case here. My test sites have consistently loaded fast, stayed stable, and handled traffic easily, even on the basic shared hosting plan. Bluehost servers are optimized for WordPress, which means your pages load quickly, your dashboard runs smoothly, and you won't have to deal with downtime or errors that cheaper hosts sometimes struggle with. When it comes to value, Bluehost gives you a lot for your money. With their current discounts, plans usually start around $2 to $3 per month, and that includes hosting, a free domain, SSL, and professional email. If you add up what those features would cost separately, you'd easily spend hundreds more with another provider. And since Bluehost is officially recommended by WordPress, you can trust that it's designed to work seamlessly with the world's most popular website platform. That said, Bluehost isn't perfect, and I want to be transparent about that. Renewal rates do go up after your first term, so the smart move is to lock in the lowest rate for the longest plan up front. And while Bluehost is ideal for blogs, portfolios, or business sites, if you're planning to build a huge high-traffic e-commerce site, you'll eventually want to upgrade to a higher-end plan. But for 95% of people starting out, it's everything you need. Simple, reliable, and affordable. So, is Bluehost overhyped? Honestly, no. It's popular for a reason. It's the easiest path to get your website live without getting overwhelmed or overspending. If you're serious about getting your website online the right way, I highly recommend watching my full How to Build a Website on Bluehost 2026 tutorial next. You'll see exactly what to click, how to claim your free domain, and how to customize your site step by step. The link to that full video is right at the end of this one, or you can find it in the description below. It'll walk you through everything from setup to launch, and by the time you finish, you'll have a fully working website live online. And if you found this overview helpful, a quick thumbs up really helps support the channel. And you're welcome to subscribe for more honest, no-fluff guides like this.